Unit 4, Lesson 5, Example 4, this will be the flow proof example. So given KN bisects JM and angle K is congruent to angle N, prove that L is the midpoint of KN. So in this proof, they're not asking us to prove two triangles congruent to one another, so chances are this is going to be a CPCTC proof. And also in order to show that L is the midpoint of KN, we need to show KL congruent to LN. So again, we're going to start with our methods on the side. Angle, angle, side, hypotenuse leg. And again, with the flow proof, since I kind of know where I'm going with it, I know I'm going to end with L is the midpoint of KN. I can fill that in. And I know that is going to come from KL congruent to LN. And I know that's reason will be CPCTC. And so that will come from some kind of triangle congruency. Triangle something congruent to triangle something. And we haven't picked a method yet, so we're not sure what we're going to put in there and what our correspondence is. So let's, let's work on the rest of the proof now. Okay, so let's mark our diagram. KN cuts in half JM, or bisects it. And angle K is congruent to angle N. So this is clearly not a right triangle, so we can get rid of hypotenuse leg. They only told us about one side, so I'm going to get rid of side, 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 and side, angle, side, which means that we're down to two methods. We have, this is going to lead me to a side. This is an angle. And so I'm looking for another side here. So let's get our given information up there. Angle K congruent to angle N. It's given. Sorry, this is... So that's a side. They also... Get, I'm sorry, that's an angle. It's a little off here. Then we have KN bisects JM. Again, that is given. And that gives us that JL is congruent to LM. And that is definition of a segment bisector. So that gives us another side. And so we're basically we're looking for an angle here. Well, we have our favorite favorite angle relationship, and we'll call this one and two. So angle one congruent to angle two. Vertical angles are congruent. So that gives me another angle. So we are using angle angle side. Remember, in order to use angle side angle, that side has to be in between those two angles, which it is not. So this will be by angle, angle, side. And we need to list our triangles in order of congruence. So let's say that JKL is congruent to MNL. And by angle, angle, side. So because we've proven these two triangles are congruent, we can then talk about KL and LN. They are corresponding parts of those triangles we've shown are congruent, which is what CPCTC stands for. And now we can talk about L being the midpoint of KN, and that is the definition of a midpoint. It divides a segment into two congruent parts. And that's it for this proof. So again, even though I not, may not be able to get to that final piece or have a reason why, I could still fill in some of the top pieces of the proof um, to get me there.